Welcome to Cisco Wire Import uh, video knowledge base. Uh, today, the topic that we'll be covering here is for WCCP basic configuration, which is the uh, web cache communication protocol. Um, so, the topic will be covered here today is just an overview um, the overview of web cache communication protocol, web security appliance configuration steps. We'll also go over some uh, Cisco router configuration steps sample debug and output information for web security appliance and Cisco router and we'll conclude with the connectivity and some basic troubleshooting uh, so to begin with what is the WCCP and how it works uh, essentially a web browser makes a request which goes into the router in a switch or ASA uh, and then uh, the router or switch intercept that request and send it over to cache engine in this case the web security appliance uh, the method could be GRE uh, or could be layer 2, depend on the hardware and software. Some of the uh, switches do not support GRE, so that would be required to do L2 hard-coded. We'll get into more detail when we talk about the configuration. The benefit to using WCCP is the assume the appliance provide services that router does not. Um, for example, the web content filtering, caching, logging, and integrating with the AD servers with NTLM or LDAP. Um, so essentially the web cache communication protocol overview, um, just a sample um, topology as we talked about here, WCCP router that intercept the traffic on inbound going to outside of the, uh, off the network and get redirected to the cache engine and see either serve or locally or fetch it from the network. Uh, moving on for the web security appliance to VSA configuration steps. Uh, here, as you can see on the GUI, we can go to network transparent redirection, and that's from the GUI access. Um, and then WCCP router is the service profile name, and then dynamic service ID, as we pointed out here, uh, configure as a 97. And the port number is 8,443. So one thing to note here is the this port number can be up to 8 port per service ID uh, we can be configuring. On the bottom of the page where advanced tab is, uh, here, before we jump into that, there is a router IP address that requires. So here, in our example, we have 10.0.60.101 uh, and then advanced tab. Uh, which is forwarding method. It talks about our return method. So that's where we can be uh, GRE or we can also be L2. Um, so that's uh, pretty much the WSA part of the config required for WCCP to work. Then Cisco router configuration steps follows. As we see the very first line IP WCCP 97 redirect list so, and then access list name. So that 97 is the service ID a point to uh, make here we must match that service ID between uh, between Cisco router and WSA. Um, as for the access list, pretty standard IP access list for port 80 and port 443 traffic. On the bottom of the page, RFC 1919 addresses were 10, uh, 172, and 192, 168 addresses. Most of the network they are used internally, so that cannot be redirected. So these deny sits on top of any permit. Um, so these access lists are, are as, as I said, RFC 19 and 18 addresses uh, covers it. Um, we'll move on to the, some of the debug and show command that output to verify uh, WCCP state. Uh, first thing is, as we said, on the Cisco router or a switch, we do show IP WCCP 97 is the service ID. View or detail command could be done here. WCCP client, so 10.0.60.21 is the WSA in our example. Moving on to IP uh, WCCP 97 detail show command. As we can see here, the client ID is 21. Again, this is the WSA. It also talks about the usable state with the protocol version 2.0. And in our example, we hard coded a redirection and packet return to GRE. That's why we see those two examples there. Uh, moving on to WSA, uh, this is the output from the command line on a WSA tail space proxy logs with the S. Um, so a few things to point here as we see the port 80. 
comma 443 so as we said earlier we can have up to eight ports here and then in our example we have 80 comma 443 and rest of the or leading zeros um, the other item to note here is in order for WCCP to work we must have a fixed alive active and uh, this right now is in a negotiating stage so that's why it shows neck pen forward question mark in our next state as you see uh, it moves on to uh, fixed alive active forward GRE and the config address which is 10.0.60.101 this is the hardware um, this is the interface IP address that we have hard coded in a WSA um, ID 97 that's all to need to match and the debug will show it on the tail proxy logs um, and again in order for WCCP to operate correctly we need to have fixed alive active forwarding method it could be GRE or L2 Moving on to further detail, um, here another thing to point out in the same uh, tail proxy logs 10.0.60.21. Again, this is the uh, iron port IP address, as you see, it's a GRE, uh, and then ports 80, 443. Um, so that concludes the uh, uh, presentation part of, of the WSA and um, configuration, rather on WSA and our Cisco router. So I'm going to conclude with some of the troubleshooting tips um, and then um, go to the next phase here, which is um, a few things to call out here. Um, just make sure the service ID must match between the WSA um, and the router or switch. And verify basic connectivity. If the pings allow, you can send ICMP requests between those two. We can restart only the WCCP process by command line diagnostic proxy kick and select yes there. Um, the other important part to note, do not use HSRP or VRRP, which is the IEEE method of the uh, load balancing of virtual addresses. Uh, forwarding return method must be layer two for some of the hardware software as we talked about it, if they are not supported by GRE. Um, so port can be a port listed under service ID. Um, the very last thing, um, and this is, uh, we have seen in the field several times, or CSC ID CSCSY82260, uh, which is ASA uh, issues that we have came across uh, where 8.2 on a 55XX platform several times. So this software defects is it's, uh, it stop forwarding traffic after a certain time. Then we either have to take out the uh, configuration part on the ASA side and put it back in or um, reconfigure it or kick it on the proxy side. So, so essentially that concludes the presentation for WCCP and thanks again for taking the time to go over. Um, appreciate your time. Welcome.